The David Schiff NICU, or DS, is located at the Stollery Children's Hospital in the same building as the University of Alberta Hospital and has 18 beds. Most often your baby is born at the Royal Alex, then transferred to the DS by our special NICU transport team. This team consists of a transport nurse or registered nurse and a respiratory therapist. Your baby will stay warm in the transport incubator and will be transported by ambulance. When arriving at the DS, your baby will be greeted by many members of your healthcare team. Your baby will be moved from the transport incubator over to a radiant warmer. The DS NICU is laid out differently from the Royal Alex. Rather than being in pods, the unit is divided into rows. Babies that stay at the DS are primarily those born with congenital heart defects and those that require surgery. You may see familiar faces as some of the doctors, nurses, nurse practitioners and fellows work at both sites. Most mums require care after the delivery of their baby and will be on a postpartum unit to rest and recover. It is difficult for mums to be on a different unit or at a different hospital than their babies. Some ideas that may help with this include having family members send pictures and videos of your baby to you. You're also welcome to call the NICU for updates on your baby at any time during the day or night. A staff member is always available for you to speak with. What I found very stressful was being separated from my daughter. So in normal circumstances, you have a baby, you're in the hospital for a little bit, you go home and that's, that's yours and you're in the same room and that's amazing. Um, Having that separation, I had a tremendous amount of guilt. Anytime I would go home to sleep, I felt like I should have been there, but it's almost impossible to be there 24 hours a day. Like your heart is literally in two separate places. I think I coped by leaning on the staff because I would cry almost every day when I had to leave and they were like, you know what, your daughter's in the best care. Another thing that helped me cope a lot was by calling in and checking. They were amazing with like, you have a number, you have the ID and you can call anytime. So I would call upwards of eight times a night, some nights when I was having a bad night. Um, and just to hear them say that there was no changes and everything was okay, um, gave me the reassurance that, okay, I'm, I'm okay here and she's okay there. So. So we're from Winnipeg and Jackson was born in Winnipeg and flown out to Edmonton approximately 10 hours after birth which meant that we could not fly out with him at the time of night and it was a weekend so we flew out the next morning so we were separated for approximately 24 hours until we were reunited with him and it was hard, it was heartbreaking, devastating. Being separated was the worst thing I've ever experienced and it got better once I saw him and hearing updates from the nurses calling us, but it was heartbreaking. And for me, the most stressful thing, um, probably taking, like making sure my family's taken care of, making sure everything was done at home uh, before we came, make sure we have people to do it, but also feeling like you have to update everybody when you just want to be here and you just want to be with your family, with your son, with like the newborn. It's just stressful being away. We welcome families into the NICU at any time so that they can be with their baby. Once mom is discharged from the hospital, she can come and spend time with baby as well. It can often be overwhelming walking into the NICU for the first few times. This is a common reaction. Your baby may have a breathing tube or mask over their nose to help with breathing. Your baby will have stickers or leads on their chest and a band-aid that we call a saturation probe on their hand or foot so that their heart rate, breathing rate, blood pressure and oxygen levels can be monitored. They will often have intravenous IV lines in either hands, feet, umbilical cord or scalp. There may be alarms ringing. If it is something serious, your healthcare team will inform you. Your baby's primary doctor at the David Schiff NICU will be the neonatologist. There are often other specialists involved in the care of your baby, and therefore, you may meet a number of different doctors. The cardiologist and surgical team comes to the unit daily to discuss each of the babies under their care. Your baby's neonatal team will also come around daily for rounds. During rounds, your baby will be discussed with you and the healthcare team. 
We encourage and welcome your input into developing plans of care for your baby. 